Yo guys, what is up? My name is 5X and welcome to my very first tutorial on this channel. In today's video, we will be making a D-Block Europe type beat. Going to be going for a style just like the new stuff, you know, like Nucky and etc. Since this is my very first video, I want you guys to comment down below with any suggestions for what type beats I should do next. As always, uh, every single sound I use in this video will be available to download for free in the comments down below. Uh, or be in, in the comments in a link somewhere. Follow me on Instagram at 5x underscore productions underscore. Uh, without any further ado, I think it's about time to get into the video. All right, so now we're in FL Studio. Um, let's get started with the beat. All right, just before we start the tutorial, um, can you guys please go smash the subscribe button? Can we hit, let's say, 20 likes? Um, don't really know what to say as the first goal, but yeah. Just hit the subscribe button um, to any sort of support is hugely appreciated. So to start, so to start off, I'm going to change the BPM to 150. Uh, most of the tracks are usually quite ham quite high tempo and uh, high energy. So to start off with, I'm going to pull up an Omnisphere. Right, I am going to use. Um, I didn't know what preset I'm going to use. I'm going to use the In Memoriam 2 preset, which sounds like this. And I'm just going to come up with a simple, um, those are just some simple chords. Before we actually get making the chords, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down a scale. So in order, in order to do this, um, for this beat, I want to use the G minor scale. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by laying um, down every single white note from A to A. Then I'm going to Make sure that most of the keyboard is covered. Just like this. And then I'm going to do Control A and then Shift arrow down. I pitch it down by two semitones, bringing the root note down to Z, G. Um, and now if I hit Alt V, if you can't see them, Alt V, you will be able to see the ghost notes. And these are the note, right notes in G minor. Okay, so I've managed to come up with this melody. Okay, next, I think I might add some roads or something, um, a nice electric piano, um, which I'm going to use FO keys for. Definitely an underrated plugin within FL. Um, most people overlook how simple it is, but you can definitely achieve a great sound out of it. So I'm just going to copy over the notes. Do Alt S and strum the notes as such. I'm also going to randomize the velocities using Alt I and then turn them down as well.
Okay, guys, so for the next step of the beat, I'm going to add another omnisphere, and um, I think I'm going to add in a flute or something with the melody. Now I'm going to go with the Mellotron flute, um, old school Mellotron flute, where is it? There it is. Might not sound the best now, but I can sound it, make it sound um, a lot better in post. So I'm just going to come up with a melody, um, just see what sounds best using my ear. Okay, so I've just added a Celeste from Expand 2. Let's see if I can uh, come up with some... Let's see if I can come up with some sort of counter melody. Okay, so I have now finished all four of the melodies. I'm going to play all of them before I move on to the drums. Firstly, I'm going to quickly assign all of these to their own individual mixer tracks. So the way I'm going to do this is a very helpful shortcut, uh, if you don't know it already. You drag down by holding the left mouse button on these on these bits, um, make sure they're all, all your tracks selected. Go over to your mixer, select um, the first empty channel, and using Control Shift L, they will all automatically get put onto mixers. Um, another useful shortcut if you want to move them around, you hold Alt and you move your arrow keys. Um, so I'm just quickly going to mix these and get back to you once I've done that. So I'm just quickly going to mix all of these um, with some basic EQ and reverb, not nothing too special, and I'll get back to you once I have. Okay, so here is the mixed versions. I've not done anything too significant. Um, for the bells, so for the bells, I've added a EQ, just removing some of the lows and um, taming some of the highs. For the roads, I've added um, EQ, sort of doing the same thing, boosting a little bit the upper mids. Um, and I've also added a decapitator plugin, which is a distortion plugin, which just gives it a bit more color. For the flute, I've added reverb, and I've also added a delay. Both are Waves plugins. Just gives it space in the mix. Um, and lastly, I didn't actually do anything. I didn't actually do anything to this bell. I just panned it to the right because it was panned a bit too much to the left. Essentially, the way you mix and make your melody sound good is mostly through the leveling and use of stereo fields. So down here, you can see I've I've uh, separated the stereo on this channel uh, using this knob. Um, which just gives it a whole lot more room, especially with the reverb and the, the delay. All right, with that out of the way, I think we can um, start with the drums. So first, I'm going to 
add the pattern on here and duplicate it twice. I'm also going to split it already, um, just because I don't want to listen to the other two melodies whilst they're making the bass line. So I'm going to select them all and using Control B, I'm going to duplicate them. Uh, <laughs> Gonna work on this bit. Gonna place down another pattern, uh, six and two sevens. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on the. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on the eight away. I'm gonna be using this eight away. It's just a spins eight away. I'm thinking it might be a slight difference, but it's essentially a spins eight away. I'm gonna add it to a mixer track. Um, and I'm going to create an envelope by turning everything else down but the hold. This just gives me control, so when I let go of the key, the bass will let go as well. Right, let's do the bass line. It's going to be using the guide from this. I'm going to copy it over. Two pattern six, yes. I'm also going to make sure that the AOA doesn't overlap, so I'm going to right click and select it to cut itself. Now I'm just going to listen out and make a bass line. So about that, my camera just got out. Okay, so here's the finished eight-way pan. Okay, now let's move on to the drums. I'm not going to do much talking with the drums. I'm just going to go with the groove um, and just put down what I feel is right. Um, I'm going to start with the clap, of course, and move on to the hi-hats. One thing I will say about D-Block Europe's drums is they, they're quite a bit different. Um, they usually have a lot more choppier hats rather than a standard two-step. Um, they have a lot more perks and a lot more snares just in the background, um, stuff you won't be able to hear. And a lot of their uniqueness, uniqueness in their beats comes from... I want to say the arrangement um, and just the the sporadicness of the of the patterns. It's not just the same drums repeated throughout the whole song. They all have variations within them. But I'm just going to do the basic uh, pattern for the for the hook right now.
One thing I will say about the hi-hats um, is the pan. It's very useful if you have rolls just to go on your pan and just pan them off to one side. It really does make a difference in your beats. And it's one way of helping um, get your, your, uh, your hi-hat rolls not becoming so stale and adding more bounce to the beat in general. Sometimes less is more. Um, you don't want to be adding too many hi hat rolls because that's also a bad thing. <clears throat> right, so that's the drums mostly finished. I just need to add the kick. Um, but before I do that, um, one way of how I make my beats and um, get the kick to sound so wide is by adding a fruity soft clipper on the master. I'll turn the threshold all the way up. Um, won't leave. I'll leave the post. Um, that basically just puts a limiter on. Uh, on the beat, making sure that it will not go above zero, zero decibels. Um, so I'll add in a kick, which is actually, which this sample does, as you can see, it goes uh, above zero dB. So what we'll do is we'll clip it, um, which is why it's got such a big kick to it and it sounds so hard. <laughs> I'm actually going to try and make this a slide note, see if um, it's going to sound nice. Yeah, that works nice. Okay, so now I'm going to assign all of these to their own mixer channel. And I'm quickly just going to level the, level the drums.
Okay, so now I'm just going to mix these drums, um, add some effects to these drums real quick, and I'll be right back once I've done that. Okay, so I've now mixed the 808. Um, I've added um, Decapitator again, which is a distortion plugin. Then again, I added Fruity Distortion just to give it some more color again. It's not, um, it's not that crazy, uh, like the settings. It's just a little bit of color. Um, then I've added a Fruity Wave Shaper. Um, an EQ just to boost some of the bass on there. And uh, sidechain with the kick. But before we do that, I'm going to add a few gross beats onto the master channel so we can create some cool transitions within the beat. Okay, so the, the two that I've added, um, first one's a reverse, which sounds like this. That can sound very cool. Um, and the other one is a uh, triplet sort of thing. Can make that sound cool as well. Um, so I'm going to automate these. Um, now I'm going to just arrange the beat. I'm going to do that by splitting out these patterns first. Both of them. I'm going to duplicate these out, and then obviously for the intro, I'm going to delete all the drums. Maybe not the crash though. I'm actually going to add a gross beat onto this Omnisphere, I'm going to see how it sounds with half speed. I think I'm going to have the drums come in um, right then. Not all of them now, I'm going to gradually introduce them. Over here, I'm going to add a little, little skip, um, see how the sounds. Maybe like this. Now for the 
This is going to be the first now. If you're removing these, um, let's have the count of those. And then back into the chorus. Can duplicate that. Might want a bit longer than that. You have now reached five X. Leave your message after the tone. Um, and I'm going to start to add some of these transitions in. That, that reverse always goes hard. Love it. Um, let's see the half speed maybe on this. I don't know what it sounds like. Nah, so we don't need that. Okay, I think this is the beat finished now. Um, there's not really much else I can do to it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Once again, please go down in the comments and tell me what beats I should do for next week's upload. I'm going to be trying to upload every Friday if I, if I can for now. Once again, all the sounds and samples used in this beat will be available to download for free in the link down below. Um, and with that being said, uh, my name's 5X. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, the beat will play now. You have now reached 5X. Leave your message after the tone.